Girl, nobody should be that close to your face to see no texture. Like, if you use this close, you need to back the fuck up, okay? And it's your girl Jay. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads, okay? So, in today's video, we are going to be doing a no foundation makeup look. This is the look, okay? This makeup is perfect for summertime because you don't want to be weighed down okay it's gonna be hot you're gonna be sweating and you just don't want to deal with that so i'm going to show y'all how to achieve a full glam look without using foundation it's super lightweight breathable i can still touch my face and it's perfectly fine there's like no to do uh <laughs> And yeah, it's so perfect for summer. Like this is the summer face, okay? I'm just telling y'all right now. This is my summer face. You see me out on the streets, this is my face gonna look like if I decide to put on makeup, okay? <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell, okay? <clears throat> for all the clips, baby. Ready? Okay. That was ugly. I hope my chair doesn't squeak this whole time. Don't you hate when like one side of your hair turns out good and then the other like, looks like that? <gasps> I have to like go back and redo this side completely because it doesn't look as good as this side. <sighs> okay, so as y'all know, we're doing a no foundation makeup look. It's going to be very minimal, very skin-like, super pretty. So we're just going to get started because... Because... We're gonna get started. Okay, so for my brows, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil. Please, please. Oh, it's my friend Desiree. Who is so right? Weight loss is a hit or miss. But that's it, spray life. I just literally want to just like eat it. Like, I'm just Oh wow. Okay, so it just fell out. I forgot what I was gonna tell her. Girl, nobody should be that close to your face to see no texture. Like if you use this close, you need to back the fuck up, okay? First of all, that's first of all, back the fuck up. But yeah, I'll definitely try it. And then I'll let you know what I think because the face is melted, period. And Morphe be taxing, like girl, how you gonna charge me $18 for that water spray? Like they out there raggedy mine. Well, Okay, since my since my brow pencil broke, I had to find something else. I'm gonna use the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. I have the shade Chocolate Mousse. And also, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be using this palette today. When it came in the mail, the highlighters were cracked, but they're like so soft. So I'm not surprised that they were like literally shattered, but I literally just pressed them back into place. And they seem to be okay. Um, so hopefully they don't like, but like look, <laughs> they're freaking crazy. We're gonna do a little eye situation today. Nothing major because this is gonna be like a very chill makeup look. It's not gonna be colorful. So I will do another video using the colorful shadows, but just not today, not today. Okay, yeah, I can't do. I can't hold up that fat ass palette. Where is my mirror? When I'm doing a more natural makeup, I like to use pencil because it's like a lighter feel. Oh wow, my edges is fucked up anyways. Girl, stop it. Okay, look, I'm gonna have to fix my hair right there. Cause this is not okay. What happened? It was like fine. Now it just looks a mess. That's why I don't do my hair before I do my face ever. Look at this. Like, what is this? This is gonna piss me off. What is this? Ugh, whatever. Mmm. 
I'm irritated. Okay, now, moving along. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and I'm gonna be using this on my face as well as to conceal my brows. I'm just gonna clean up my brows just a little bit. This stuff is very thick, so a little, literally the smallest amount goes a long way. I'm gonna just be using the neutral shades out of here. I'm gonna go with basic first in my crease, just to kind of like set the foundation, kind of get the vibe a little bit, and see kind of what I'm gonna do. Oh, this is way more orange than I was expecting. And I'm only going from like here out. I'm not bringing it into my inner corner because I pretty much want all of that to be my shimmer shadow that I'm gonna use. Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is a Morphe 514. And I'm gonna deepen it up with Hall. That one right there. And then you can go back in with that transition shade to my phone today. It's just acting up. I'm gonna go in with the shade Intuition, which is this very chocolate brown. So I'm just using all those bottom three, and I'm gonna slowly work this into my outer corner. Okay, boom, just like that. Okay, then I'm gonna take a flat brush. Kinda wanna pack this gold highlighter right here, which is over it onto my lid. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I didn't even dampen it or anything. Oh my gosh. I don't even have a base on. Nothing. Stacy, babes. Babes. Whoa now. That is freaking bomb. Now I'm like, do I want to do a wing? No, that's a little bit too much. But we're going to pop on some lashes and I left my lashes in the bathroom. Okay, I couldn't find my lashes. I don't know where they went, but I'm just going to use my AliExpress lashes. And I'm gonna use clear glue today because I like to use dark glue when I'm not wearing, uh, when I am wearing wing liner, just because it matches better. I don't like wearing dark glue when I'm not wearing a wing because it can be very messy. Some people like to wear dark glue regardless because it like gives them liner, but to me it doesn't look good. That's just me though. I'm gonna just take this LA Girl face powder to set my brow bone. So that way it's not all greasy and shiny. Oops, slightly. I'm gonna do it on this eye as well. And while my lash gets tacky, I'm gonna work on this other eye. Okay, so I just finished my eye makeup, put on my lashes. Now, you can really skip this step if you're like, don't have the time or the energy to do the eye makeup or put on lashes. You can literally just throw on mascara. I just want to be a little extra, but normally you can just do this without any of that. So, my hair, you guys, is like making me so mad. Like, it's not behaving. But I'm like, why? Behave. The, okay. So I'm gonna take my wrong random prime. Okay, you always want to prime your face. So with any makeup application, I always moisturize and prime. The moisturizer that I'm gonna be using is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Barrier Cream, and then I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So that way we have a good base. You don't ever want to apply makeup onto skin that's not prepped. Oh my god because your makeup can turn out patchy or dry or just not good, okay? And we don't want that. So to avoid that, we prep no matter how much makeup we're putting on. And this also kind of creates a barrier between your skin and the makeup. So, you know, taking care of your skin is the most important thing when it comes to makeup. Now, if you look closely to my skin, I do have some skin issues. I have a lot of discoloration a few um blemish scars so the main focus for me is going to be covering that up now okay so yeah <laughs> so i'm going to be using two concealers the first concealer that i'm going to be using is to color correct 
Um, so any of my dark spots, I'm going to go over with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 4.0. They don't sell this anymore. I don't know why. Because it's actually pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to go over any like darkness with this because it has like a peach undertone so it kind of acts like a color corrector and it's super easy to blend over because it's not like orange you don't really want that and right where i placed that concealer is all that we're going to be covering up today like i'm not I'm, we're not doing the whole makeup thing like no no why is it so hot Okay, so then I'm gonna go back in with my It Cosmetic Concealer because this is this is the concealer that matches closest to my skin that I have. And I don't know if you can tell, but it just really evened out my skin. But you can still see the imperfections through, so it doesn't look like I have on that much makeup. And that's what we are going for. Okay, so now I want to conceal the high points on my face. And to do so, I'm going to be using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm just going to go right under my eyes. Just a thin layer. I'm going to do my nose and a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. Okay, so then I'm going to take this Real Techniques setting brush and I'm going to use it to uh, blend out the concealer. Make sure you catch those bags. So now I'm going to powder. Okay, I'm going to set my under eye with the translucent powder. And you can set to your liking. If you wanna be super matte, add more powder. If you don't wanna be so matte, then you can do a little bit less. You just wanna make sure that your concealer doesn't move and you really don't need to set your entire face. I'm going to be just because I like a more satin to matte finish. Um, but if you like to look dewy, you can literally leave the rest of your face alone. Okay, I'm gonna take that LA Girl powder again and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe Trailblazer bronzer. I love this bronzer. And I'm just gonna bronze up my face a little bit. I don't wanna go too ham, but I do want some definition in my face. So you want to put your brush and like flick it up because you don't want the bronzer to pull your face down. Alright, so for blush, I'm going to be going into this BH Glowing in Grease palette and I'm gonna go in with this color okay now i see shit i'm showing you all i'm gonna go in with this color here the middle one is called paros paros not paris but like paris but oh that is so good of me i'm sorry oh wow that is gorgeous perfect summer blush tap in some more this is very pigmented so <laughs> be careful and then i'm gonna go in with mykonos on my nose. And now we're gonna set everything in place. And I'm using my absolute favorite, Urban Decay All Nighter. The more setting spray, the better because it'll just melt literally everything into your skin. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into my Stacey Marie palette and I'm gonna go in with gold luxe on my nose to highlight i'm scared fuck i think i found my new favorite highlight y'all this formula is everything could so easily od and then i'm just gonna blend it out with my finger and i'm actually gonna put a little bit of over it on top make it a little warmer because it is more on the old tone side 
That's the only highlight I'm putting. Now, lips. Okay, I just mixed a bunch of lip liners. Mainly BFF3 from ColourPop and NYX Toast uh, to get this. I'm gonna go on with this Desi X Katie gloss. Forgot the name of it. I think my sticker fell off, but it's the gold one. And let me see what this looks like. It's cute. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Just for a little bit more color. Y'all see the difference in the color? And boom! This is the look. I'm gonna go fix my hair and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna like close out this video. Okay. Alright you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mwah. Hey, baby, why?